Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And we know right now, with everything going on, it is very hard to source certain PC parts. So we're gonna show you guys how we've been getting everything done here at the office. And uh, spoiler alert, it's most likely gonna involve used parts, but there are some resources out there that you may be overlooking. But before we get into this, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, us. So in case you guys didn't know, we don't just do YouTube. So YouTube is obviously our main platform, but we also have social medias like Twitter, Instagram, Discord. So check all those out with links in the description down below. Also, two awesome YouTube channels, Toasty DIY and Toasty Clips, where we upload a lot of extra and really cool different content from normal PC stuff. And also here, where we're actually doing this right now is our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros in our office setup. We actually tried a bunch of crazy foreign candies this morning, which isn't really a normal thing, but you know, hey, just telling you guys. So don't forget to check out all of the other things that we do. We'd really appreciate some follows, likes, subscriptions, etc. So now that we've talked about all of our social media platforms, let's show you how you can get some PC parts given everything going on in the world right now, which is kind of difficult. All right, guys, so we're gonna be focusing on a couple of websites here. The main concept here is to show you some things you can get on websites that most people, well, utilize, but sometimes overlook. Those being eBay, AliExpress, a website that we like to work with, Upcycle Computer Works or UCW, and Micro Center, which is gonna be one that not a lot of people have access to, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But first up, we're gonna look on eBay, which we actually have an upcoming build using this concept, which Jax will talk about real quick. So obviously aside from the typical things you can get on eBay, so new and used graphics cards, CPUs, motherboards, basically any PC parts you could possibly want, you can always find them on eBay from individual sellers and even businesses. So what we're actually looking at right now though is actually CPU, motherboard, RAM combos. You can literally type that in and look at what Matt's scrolling through right now. There's thousands of results of AMD, Intel, and just all kinds of crazy combos that you know range from $40 all the way to probably a few thousand dollars. So we actually just bought a Xeon combo that 16 gigs of RAM, a four core eight threaded Xeon and a motherboard for like $150. So we're gonna ready to actually do a video on that and we were able to get it in like four days. So highly recommend checking out eBay. And a big issue that people are having right now is getting stock of stuff for new builds like B450 motherboards, especially if you're going Ryzen. Now it may be more expensive, but right now more expensive is better than it not being in stock. So if you look at B450 boards right now, there are people selling these B450 boards for 80 bucks, which is a little bit more than you normally should pay for this. But the fact that you're getting them actually in stock and you can actually order them, that's better than having to wait around. It's kind of the premium you're paying right now to get stuff like this. Uh, you have a lot of other options too if you want to buy used, you could buy some other boards used. Some people have some other B450M boards that are being price hiked, which is not great. Really don't like that people do this, but it is what the market is right now. And if you are really desperate to do an AMD build, which of course we love our AMD builds here, you have options like these that are ready to be shipped and you can get them within one to three days. And eBay is a good option for that. So AliExpress is a website that we don't use a ton because, well, it takes usually one to three months to get most of the stuff because it mainly is China stuff, but that does mean super cheap knockoff parts. And when I say super cheap, I mean like you can be getting something like 12 core, 24 threads for, you know, a hundred-ish dollars in some cases. Like you can get some really good CPU, RAM, motherboard combos, even full builds from AliExpress. For things like graphics cards and stuff like that though, they really don't sell name brands. They're gonna be like, you know, brands like Corn and like knockoff electronics. So I'd be careful with trying to get parts like that, especially if you have access to Amazon, Newegg, Micro Center, um, and eBay, you know, avoid AliExpress for that type of stuff. But if you're wanting to do some really cheap Xeon stuff, check out AliExpress. We will definitely leave links in the description down below to some of our favorite bundles that we have used before and for upcoming videos, we will have those as well. But there are a wide range of Xeons you can go with and most of the motherboards are knockoff motherboards. They're not super high quality, but they do get the job done in most use cases. You might not do any crazy overclock or anything, but if you're doing a sub $500 build, some of these high core count Xeons might be a really good option for you. I love AliExpress. It's a lot of fun getting some of the stuff in the mail whenever it does show up. And if you are international, this stuff might show up a lot faster faster. So if you are somebody overseas who looks at our builds and are like, I can't get that stuff here where I live, AliExpress is a great resource for you and you might be able to get it a lot faster than we would here in the US. So speaking of people in the US, UCW Upcycle Computer Works is a really awesome kind of local company. So they basically deal with anything from CPUs to CPU motherboard RAM combos to full PC builds or stupid cheap. You guys have probably seen we've done a few builds with them where they basically send us a full build or they send us, you know, half of a build. And I'm not kidding when I say this is probably some of the cheapest stuff you can get besides maybe eBay, but even then they are very trusted sellers and their stuff always works. 
And this is more of the upgrading a Dell Optiflex pre-built route, which is something we do a lot on our channel. Um, given the situation in the world right now, this might be your best option if you want a temporary work PC or a gaming PC. Really easy to do. We've done so many videos as Jackson mentioned. And this is from somebody who actually buys these PCs, tests them and ships them out as opposed to going on eBay and buying these or like Facebook market or anything like that. You might have a little bit of concern there that it may not work. This guy tests it, has a warranty behind it, and you'll get these computers in hand in the US really quickly. So definitely check out shopucw.com if you are interested. This isn't a sponsor spot or anything. They're just really awesome over there. Uh, but yeah, check those out. They are a really good resource to consider. So next up is Micro Center. Now, they don't really have anything used, so keep that in mind. They might have some refurb stuff here and there, but the best part about Micro Center is that you can go in store to all different locations around the US and actually buy your PC parts and build your PC that day. They also offer build services and pre built so Micro Center is honestly an amazing company. They actually sponsor a lot of our streams where we give away PCs even, so honestly, one of the coolest companies out there. We wish we had one closer to us. The closest one's like Ohio for us, but even then, we will still drive two hours there just to pick out PC parts in person. Now, as we mentioned, Micro Center is not super accessible to everybody, but if you are near a Micro Center within one to two hours, it is definitely worth the drive. I know people who've reached out to us who are fans of ours who have gone to Micro Center during everything that's going on and were able to pick up some really awesome deals. So definitely check out Micro Center if you haven't already and on all our PC builds that we've done with them. Um, and it's another resource that you should definitely consider if it is close by. Another thing is they offer a lot of clearance deals. And on top of that, if you buy a compatible CPU and motherboard, they typically always give you 20 to $25 off just for doing that bundle. So honestly, even compared to Amazon and Newegg, you're actually saving money just by going in person and buying stuff. Now, one thing that you might want to stray away from, and it might be very tempting, is the pre-built market right now. On Amazon, you're really not going to get any good deals. Like this guy right here, very similar to a video that's done really well on our channel, where he basically told you not to buy this computer. This is an i5, probably 2400 with a 650 for $500. $500. Not a great price. Ugh. SkyTech PCs, ones that people want us to check out, they are getting a little bit better than some of these other ones. They're not nearly straight up scams, but they do have a really high markup. Um, we are gonna be checking out another pre-built on this website, so be sure to subscribe if you wanna check those out, this website being Amazon, of course. Uh, but yeah, pre-builds are, well, there are one-off deals where it might be worth it, but most of the time you are gonna be spending a massive premium, and that is something to definitely keep in mind when shopping around. Now, one thing to keep in mind is obviously we were starting off with websites that you wouldn't really think of off the noggin first. I feel like Amazon's everybody's go-to. Honestly, Amazon is probably where we get the most PC parts from. Amazon's a really great resource. The only problem is because everybody gets their parts from there right now, a lot of parts are very scarce. Like if he looks up motherboards right now, I'm scared because motherboards are not cheap on Amazon typically. Or in stock at all. Or in stock. So um, we're also gonna check out Newegg because Newegg actually has a lot of stuff in stock typically that Amazon does not. But obviously always try Amazon and Newegg first as long as they're in your region and everything. And then if you can't find what you want, then check out eBay, check out AliExpress, you know, check out UCW. Obviously Micro Center can also be another first, especially if there's one near you. So see on Newegg, there tends to be more stock, but be sure to click on it because we have noticed where you actually click on the uh, item you're looking at and it says it's on back order. This one's actually in That's stock right deal. now. That is a really good deal, actually. We really do like those motherboards. So we'll go back here, but it looks like stock is starting to get a little bit better, which is promising. But as this video kind of points out, there are other alternatives you can go with if for some reason you're having pretty much the worst possible time trying to get access to things like motherboards or CPUs when we are building a new gaming PC in 2020. It's not great, but if you do some deal hunting and have some patience and maybe follow our deal page over on uh, Twitter, uh, Toasty Deals, that will definitely give you access to some resources that could help you out. Uh, you might be able to snag some stuff that you need for your next game. And also the last two things that you could check out just to mention is Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Those are really good places to get mainly only used hardware and full computer builds. Keep in mind though, these are completely unregulated. You could get stuff that doesn't work. You could get stuff that's completely a rip off. Like people will charge insane amounts for pre-builds, especially old gaming PCs and stuff. So just watch out for scammers and whatnot. But we hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little, you know, talking video where we just told you guys how to get some PC parts and how we've been managing to get through all this. Don't forget as we said towards the beginning of the video check out all of our social medias check out other two youtube channels also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros don't forget to like comment and subscribe as well and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye